Adobe Photoshop is a software application containing tools for image editing and the creation of digital images and photo retouching for use on Windows and Mac OS computers. So it's important to note that right now I'm working on a Mac computer, so the screen view, it may be a little different from yours, but the topics that I will cover are applicable to both Mac and Windows versions of Photoshop. Okay, here's the main screen where you have the option to open recent files, and over here to the left you have the ability to create a new file, and what we're going to do here is we're going to click open to open the two existing files that we're going to modify in the program. Okay, I can see that the first image is the image of the jazz band, and then I have the second image, which is the image of me playing the digital saxophone. I'm going to select the first image, and then I'm going to go to File, Open, and open the second image. These are two different ways in how you can open files inside of the program. Now inside of Photoshop, there are many, many tabs, and these are tabs that represent different windows that I'm clicking here. All of them can be found under this window drop down here. Specifically inside of the window, what I want to focus on first is our workspace. Right now I'm in the Essentials workspace. Also in the windows above workspace, you have the Arrange option. And the Arrange option allows you to adjust the way that the windows are laid out on the screen. If I click on 2 up vertical, you'll see that I can see both of these images side by side. Then the area that we worked with before inside of the workspace, we were working with Consolidate All to Tabs. But back to the main image I have here, I'm going to look at the zoom tool, and this will kind of help us as far as we're, we're moving further along in the program. If I click on the zoom tool, the shortcut is the letter Z, or the Z key, and inside of that, then you will have the ability to see up above, these are the settings or the parameters of that specific tool. I can fit the image to the entire screen. I can zoom into 100%, and 100%, this is the actual full-size quality of the image. And this image is much larger than my screen. That's why I can only see a portion of what was there before. When I do fill screen, it's going to fill the entire screen with the image um, vertically. There's a positive and a negative icon that you see for the magnifying glass, which represents zoom. Within this zoom, what you can do is you can lasso or you can isolate a specific area like I'm doing here and once I let go it will zoom into that specific area. That's what the positive allows you to do to zoom into a specific part of it. Now I can click on the negative and when I click that way it allows me to zoom back out. Another way of zooming in or zooming out is using the command key or if you're on a PC using the control key. Control minus to zoom out, control plus to zoom in. And you'll see that there are options to scroll. There are options to scroll around in the image that's one way of doing so. But another way of moving around the image, you can hold the space bar. The space bar turns the zoom into a temporary hand. As long as your finger is on the space bar, it will stay as a hand tool. And once you let go, it returns to the zoom tool. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.